What is going on guys? It is Cortex here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can make your own randomized NFTs if you guys want to get into the like OpenSea or um, whatever other NFT uh, sites there are. Um, you guys can actually just, you know, make your own NFTs, try to make as m much money as you can. It's kind of difficult, but um, if you guys put the amount of effort into it, you guys can and will um, make some money off of them. However, um, you guys should, you know, try to be as creative as you can, because creativity, er, sorry for my English, creativity does make a big difference. Anyway, um, let's take a look at a couple of these, actually. Um, let's look at the strawberry. See, um, it's no offers, but, you know, creating NFTs is not hard at all. Um, it just takes a little bit of coding, and... In this video, guys, uh, I have all the links in the description. I have all the code you guys will need. Um, all you got to do is change it to what you guys need to randomize your creations. So basically, um, to get into this video, um, you guys are going to need Visual Code or Visual Studio, whatever. I'll have the link in the description for all of this stuff. Um, you guys are going to need Node.js. And then I have the GitHub link for all the code if you guys do not know how to code. Um, I have already changed everything in my code for um, my generations, so I'll, I'll still go over it so it doesn't confuse you guys, but I already have all of my stuff changed. Anyway, so let's open Visual Studio. Visual Studio. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, now that we have Visual Studio open, there are a few things that you guys are going to have to type in immediately to get some stuff open so what you guys are going to need to do is npm install it'll install something for you on the side you don't need to worry about it just something you need to do I've already done that so I'm not going to do that right now and then npm truffle dash g I've also already done this so I'm not going to do it right now just does a little bit of downloading and stuff for you on the side so after you do that you guys are ready to get going so the first thing you guys are going to do is insert your file on the side. It should be called Generative Art Node. And yeah, once you do it, um, you have all this stuff in here. I've already changed the name of everything that was already there. It was like eye color, iris, um, eyelid, stuff like that. I've already changed it to my preference, which would be you know background, eyes, face, horns, whatever. Because I'm doing a pixel dragon. So, <coughs> that's, you know, that, that's what I need. So anyway, after you guys load in, you guys are going to need to do the dependency, which is just install canvas. So you're going to want to do NP npm install canvas. So after you do that, it's just going to load a canvas for you. Uh, nothing similar. It should be really quick. Anyway. After you do that, you're going to want to open the infit, or, uh, input and then open the config.js file. And in here is all you guys are going to need. So up here, you guys have all of the rarities. If you guys want to add rarities to your N NFT, it's going to be all up here. All you got to do with these is go to whatever you guys want to make. Super rare, rare, or original. Original, you don't need to do anything at all. Just you need to change the rare and the super rare with these keys right here. These keys will be very useful if you guys want to, you know, make the ready. So if you want to go over, say I want to make, um, let's see here. I want to make this red face here. I want to make it a super rare. I already did it, so I would change, you know, this purple here to underscore SR. See, like it is here? That means it's a super rare, which means it'll be really rare when it generates, which is good because I don't want that much people to have it, which in theory would make it more valuable to other people. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all rarity is. It's really simple. And yeah, next things next is this down here, the layers. This is your folders. This is what's going to be randomized. See, I have my background folder. This will already be here in the code. I changed the rest of it, but this will already be here if you guys want to randomize your background. It's not that big of a deal. 
Anyway, I have the background, my eyes, my face, my horns, all my layers here. And everything inside, like the location elements, name, they all need to be exactly the same as the folder. Or else it just won't work. So I changed my background, eyes, face, horns, and then whatever else was below I deleted because I didn't need that much layers. Um, if you guys um, want to add more layers, all you got to do is just copy, paste, and change the ID to plus one. So say if I want to do another one, I would just copy this, paste it, and then add, change this to five. But since I don't want to do that, it doesn't really matter for me, but I just thought I would let you guys know in case you did want to add another layer so you weren't lost. So yeah, anyways, after that, really all that's left for you guys to do is go into index and change this right here to how many you want to generate. See for me, I want to, let's do five random generations. Okay, so we're going to randomly generate five pixel dragons and nothing down here matters and yeah here's another thing a lot of people don't actually know this but if see if I were to type whatever it is that I wanted to do in here it would not work because I didn't save it so you actually have to close this out and save it for it to do what you want I didn't change anything in here so this doesn't matter but when, after you guys change all of this you guys are going to hit the X and hit save or it'll just not work. It'll load in everything that you already took out and it would just be a headache. Anyway, after you've done all that, also guys, I want to also mention that all of this right here, other than like the index, the, con the config, and your personal folders that you put in the input, don't matter at all. Don't even pay attention to them. Like, it's that you don't need to worry about it. Just letting you guys know that now. Anyway. <laughs> after you changed it to how much you want to randomize which is on line 8 I'm gonna do 5 you want to go down here do node index.js and it'll randomly generate 5 for me and it'll go into the output see we'll look at it and um, see um, when I was making this I forgot to do the white so don't worry about it if you guys have your layers completely done properly it'll look fine. My second one, my third one, fourth, and fifth. It completely randomized each one. I don't know if, is that a super rare? I don't remember. Anyway, um, another thing is um, that I forgot to mention is how the layers are here. Say for instance, if I were to change background with eyes, which you just wouldn't want to do. You want to do the layers you want over top of each other to be lower than these, because these are just overlapping now. See if I were to do layers with eyes. 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 Then once again, you're going to want to save it. We're going to delete all these now we're going to do node index.js because we want to randomly generate. It's going to do 5 once again. But now my background overlays my eyes so I can't see them. That's why you guys want to really pay attention to when you're doing it. That whatever you want in the background or to be overlaid is further up than, you know, down here. It's really just the ID. So... We're just going to change this back to background. You got to change them all, by the way, or it will not work. And we're going to change this back to eyes. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. See, this is how you guys are going to create your NFTs. However, I don't have a video for how you guys can bulk upload them. Um, that <laughs> is just would be too much for this video. Um, I, 
in this video, I just wanted to explain how you guys can make your NFTs if you guys were like eerie to get into it and wanted to try making money on your own. Uh, if you guys had your own original ideas for NFTs, then I hope this video really does help you because I think NFTs are really cool and I want to see more people getting into it because I just think, you know, I mean, it's just interesting. Anyway, so I'm just going to once again show how this is done. I have the layers like this, so what it will randomly generate a background first. So it's going to pick one of these randomly. Say, okay, it picks red, okay? Then it's going to go to eyes. It's going to randomly generate some green eyes. And then for a face, okay, it's going to randomly generate a purple face. And then the horns, it's going to randomly generate. So that is the order that I have this in right here. So none of it will overlay. See, if I put background on the horns, it'll randomly generate everything. And then the background last. And all you'll see is the background because you didn't put it in the proper order. Anyway, guys, that is how you, um, that's how you do the NFTs. That's how people do most of it. Um, then you would go to your uh, OpenSea or whatever NFT site you guys use. I use OpenSea, and then you would create, and you would upload them. Um, now, if you were to do mass upload, say you wanted to create, you know, a thousand NFTs randomly generated. It would be really difficult to create and upload every single one of them. So most people would bulk upload them, which is more code and stuff like that. But I'm not going to get into this video. If you guys want to know how to do that, just let me know. But the thing with that is it does cost and you'll have to pay. So it does get pretty expensive too. So if you guys want to keep it you know, pretty cheap, then I would just simply start with doing it manually if you guys are really determined in doing that. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe because I'm, I'll do more stock in uh, cryptocurrency videos for you guys, helping you guys with all of that if you guys want. Anyway, this is how you guys create NFTs and, uh, I'll make sure to put all the links in the description so you guys can, um, get all the stuff and do it on your own. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.